Hi guys, Archie Luxury here, Archie Luxury Channel. Guys, we're doing a paid review. This is paid review 23 QB53. And it's about Lange and Vacheron. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a two-tone bluesy, ceramic two-tone bluesy. Okay, guys, let's run the intro and let's start this review. <laughs> guys archie luxury on the paul pluto channel we're doing a paid review 23 qb 53 and this here let's go through this review it's a review on lange and vacheron here we go uh, hi arch i absolutely love your content you've been a great source in helping me build my collection i know you're a big proponent of rolex and paddock because they hold their value but i want to ask you about lange and vacheron there's not much content available about the investment potential of Pacific references from Lange and Vacheron. I would love your opinion on the three watches listed below from an investment perspective. I own, he owns, he owns an American a Vacheron, over, sorry, Vacheron, Constant, Constantine, American, 1921. We'll bring that up in a minute. Uh, I'm on the wait list for a Odysseus white gold and a 222 please give me your thoughts thank you okie dokie so let's let's have a quick quick talk about this so firstly um he has a vacheron 1921 um let's pull that up on the screen and let's have a look what we're talking about he's got the white gold i think this is the the reference here uh okay it's one of my favorites i think this is one of the most beautiful watches that is in existence there um beautiful watch um bloody expensive let me say that i think it's very expensive for what it is i think it's a it's not cheap it's not cheap these are not for poor people but when i say not expensive is it is basically it's a three-hand watch it's hour minutes and seconds and it's punching higher than paddock level which paddock is the leader paddock is the mercedes benz this is kind of it's punching above its weight it is a great designed watch invest this actually watch has held pretty good but let me tell you this now vacheron Vacheron prices, secondary market, they have fallen off a fucking cliff, okay? I love Vacheron. I think Vacheron makes some amazing pieces. The prices have fallen off a fucking cliff. The big in-demand Vacherons were the overseas. Well, they've fallen off a fucking cliff. Let me let me give you the drum. It's fuck this fuck die. So <clears throat> with your... Vacheron American 1921, beautiful watch, one of my all-time favorites. I don't think it's great investment. I think you'll sort of, at best, you won't lose a shitload of money, okay? So investment potential, very fucking limited. Because when we're talking investment potential, what we're talking about is we buy something, it grows, okay? We're not talking about we put a shitload of money into something and it stays at that same level that's not a fucking investment okay so i gotta be totally honest with you at best we won't lose a shit load of cash beautiful watch beautiful piece fantastic brand can't fault it but i gotta tell you the truth i'm here to tell you the truth investment potential fucking shit house these aren't investments. You buy this for a joy. It's like buying a 
Maserati. Okay. You don't buy it for investment, but you buy it for the fun you have with it. Same with this watch. Now, the next piece is, okay, I own an American 1921. That's probably one of my favorite Vacherons. I'm on the wait list for an Odysseus white gold. That's the Lange. Well, let's be totally honest there. Um, let's be totally honest there. Um, they want to sell you a whole lot of shit. They're going to package this shit. They're not going to. Do they actually just give you this without buying a whole lot of shit from them? You you think you can actually buy this? Can you? Can you actually get this? <coughs> I've never been a big fan of the Odysseus. I like the traditional Langes. I gotta be totally honest with you. This one here. Um I'm on the wait list for an Odysseus white gold. I got to be honest with you. I'd be going steel if you can. I don't think you're going to do that well on this piece. The Odysseus bubble. Come on. Let's be realistic. We don't be delusional fantasists. I think that's a stupid. I would cancel. Okay, personally. I wouldn't be buying this watch brand fucking new. I wouldn't be buying. I would be buying this secondary market. Okay. The Odysseus, that bubble, that bubble has kind of uh, burst. The steel one is the one you want. If you're going to talk about investment potential, uh, if you're going to mention those grubby, grubby, grubby words, don't, don't, don't talk white gold, Lange. Eh? Talk the steel one so i think it's a fucking shit house investment i would i would love your opinion on the three watches i love the three watches um listed below from an investment perspective fucking shit house there you go that's my investment advice fucking shit house and then the last piece the third piece the third piece that we are looking at is the Vacheron 222. The 222. That's right. The 222. Which the 222 was the forerunner to the overseas. Okay. So this, it came out as the 222. Then it became the Phoebus. Um, so what do I think of this thing here? I got to be totally, totally honest with you. Don't buy it. 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 This is not a good. This is not a good investment. Okay. Those days are fucking over, sunshine. Have to be. You, you, I don't think you get your money back. Okay. The markets for this fuck me dead. If you've got that sort of money to spend, I would be buying, I wouldn't be buying this sort of shit, okay? I wouldn't be buying this brand new from the boutique. Those days are fucked, okay? Those days are fucked. So I got to be totally honest with you. Investment potential, fucking terrible, fucking terrible, okay? Beautiful watch, fantastic brand. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. Buying it at, Retail? Fuck me dead. Get off the list. Cancel. Don't buy this shit. I wouldn't be buying this. Look, you've already got the Ameri the Vacheron American 1921. Okay, that's enough of a mistake. When I say mistake, we're talking investment because you fucking asked me. Investment potential. Investment, investment, investment. I didn't mention the investment words. You mentioned it. So to be totally honest with you, the the Vacheron American, that's enough. If I were you, you know what I would do? If, 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 <laughs> seriously, what would I do? I'd buy myself a two-tone Rolex. That's what I would do. Ride the storm out, man. Okay? Ride the storm out. Those are expensive. Investment potential, buying them from the boutique. That ship has sailed. Those days are over. It's over. Red Rover. Those days 
doesn't exist like that. Investment potential, fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. It's gone. So to be totally honest with you, Vacheron and Lange, I'd be buying only on the pre-owned. Um, I don't think these are very good buys at all. To be honest with you, as investment, you're asking investment advice. Look at this. He says, I would love your opinion on the three watches listed below from an investment perspective. Fucking terrible. Okay. Fucking terrible. That's that's the that's 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 what the 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 investment advice is. They are fucking in terrible investments. You want blue chip stable? Buy buy a Rolex two tone sub. That's what that's what I would do. So um yeah, there you go. That is the the investment advice for today, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads. If you want a opinion, you want a review. Look down below, get a paid review done, 50 US dollars, and I'll tell you the honest, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'll tell you the truth. And if you're looking to buy a watch in America, I would highly recommend David SW. That's right, trusted dealer to buy or sell. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America... If you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride, go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right, guys, David SW.